Hello, DevNet Create. My name is Pete Brown. I'm a network engineer with AutoZone. And today we're going to talk about sharing is caring data mesh on iOX. Just a very quick uh, bit about myself. I have been kicking around the IT industry for around 20 years now and forward to a number of different engineering disciplines. And one of the biggest problems I've ever faced, it, it's not a certain it's not a certain technology. It's not the latest, greatest thing. Uh, it's sharing. It's sharing data amongst our teams. And this is a problem that I've been working on the last few years. And today we're going to share the solution that we've come up with at AutoZone for sharing data amongst some of our IT infrastructure teams. So let's take a look at the demo. In this demo, we're going to create a test data set and publish it to a data mesh for consumption across teams. The idea of the data mesh has only been around for the last couple of years. It was introduced by Jimak Degandi with ThoughtWorks. And in her description, she said that data mesh products should have a couple different characteristics. The ones we want to focus on today are being discoverable and addressable. Now, network engineers, we address everything. And so, yeah, the idea of being addressable uh, is, is interesting to us. Now, bear in mind that data mesh itself isn't a standard, it's a practice. And so the software we'll be using is just our implementation of this. So we want the backbone of our mesh to run on an iOX device for one very simple reason, stability. You know, we don't want our mesh container you know, contending with application layer processes in a VMware farm or anything along those lines. So what we did was we took an ISR 4331 and we made it the mesh registry. We started off by pulling a Docker image for um, that we've started putting, pulling the DRP Docker image. We created a package YAML file so that we could take the IOX client utility, create an IOX app, and then deploy it to the 4331. That gave us the web interface. And so once we, uh, once we go to the 4331, we can see the app running there and we can access that web interface. If we take a look at the shell, we can do an ls on mesh services to see what services are out there. And right now there's no data out there. If we do a, a DM, it's a little data mesh command that we came up with. Do a DML. There's no, there's no classes out there. There's no data to be consumed. So we're going to execute a process which generates some dummy data. In this case, something very simple that every organization has. We're going to create a person class. We create a person class, define its characteristics. We create a department class, define its characteristics. And then we add some records to each. We then turn around, take that data, and start a process where it joins the mesh using its super secret key, because we're really big on security here, using super secret key as the super secret key. And once it joins the mesh, it's going to add that service. So let's fire that up. When that process executes, we now see that it has joined the mesh. And if we flip back to our web interface, we look at the services, we now see our test service. If we do the data mesh listing again, we now see that there's the person class data as well as department data. So the takeaway here is it is, it is entirely possible to have one mechanism that your teams can publish information to and to share information amongst each other without having to go through the complexities of using an API gateway or uh, uh, anything along those lines. It can be done strictly by using your existing routing and switching infrastructure and the, the IOX app hosting capabilities on those devices. I certainly hope you enjoy the demo. There are a few links I'm going to leave you with. The first is the project repo for the software that was demonstrated in, in this, um, this presentation. The second is a great article on data mesh by the originator of the concept, Jamak uh, Degani. And finally, if you want to 
contact me on LinkedIn to discuss any of this further, please feel free. Um, again, I hope you enjoyed the presentation and enjoy the rest of your DevNet Create. Thank you very much.